Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, Morgan SLV here. Take two. Uh, today's date, 7 8 2011. Gold, 1543. Silver, 3650. Going to be an ultra short video. Just wanted to get out there and say hi. One of the things that I'd learned uh, studying Mike Maloney is, is this statement Gold and silver do an accounting periodically throughout history to catch up to all the dollars that are in existence. So the ratio of uh, you know, uh, gold and silver, uh, you know, fluctuates. But what I'm looking for is the more dollars they create, the higher this is going to go. Now, unfortunately, you know, I had a talk with my with uh, my boss who is, uh, you know, he's uber wealthy. He um, his ears perked up when when his manager, one of his managers asked me how high I thought silver would go. And I said, well, the statement I got from Robert Kiyosaki in the, in the recent past is 5,000 an ounce in the next two years. It's completely possible to do that. And that made him turn and look around, uh, you know, stare at me a little bit. And I said, now, let's hope, Fred, that he's wrong because if that happens, the money in your pocket is going to be pretty much useless. And his statement to me was, yeah, we'd have to raise our prices around here. You're absolutely correct. If the purchasing power goes down, of the currency, then you're going to have to up the price of the price so that you can get more of those dollars. It's just the way it goes. You know, job, sex, job sector continuing to worsen. You know, I just saw a graph. Um, I'll try to look it up and put a link. Uh, if I if I don't, uh, I apologize. I'm tight on time. But um, the graph shows the unemployment um, uh, statistics since the Great Depression. You see. You'll see all these big dips, you know, happening, and then you see the crash of, of the Great Depression, and the joblessness that we have right now it just it dwarfs it dwarfs anything else. I mean, it's it's like almost off the chart, and um, you know that's why I'm, I'm continuously plugging my son's website, Small Engine Advice for Dummies. Not that I that I want you guys to visit it. I don't make any. He doesn't make any direct income off of that website, which that's another story in all in, in, in itself. We we plan to change that. But he bumped into the business that he's in now because of it. Now, that website does feed business on a consistent basis to him. But I'm thinking with, with the current joblessness that we have going on, it's important to do something on your own. I, I wouldn't wait for somebody else to pick up the pieces for you because there may not be anybody else available to do that. They're going to raise the debt ceiling, as we all know. And... Um, what does that mean? What is what if they raise the debt ceiling? What does it mean for your precious metals? Well, you can see what I put here. I've got an arrow going right from there. It's just a self-fulfilling prophecy that every time they raise the debt ceiling, it's going to cost you more of those dollars to purchase this, right? All right, joke of the day. Now, I don't know how many I'm 48 years old. I don't know how many of you guys remember uh, a show called Laugh In. And I don't know the guy's name. Maybe you guys, if you guys can comment, you can remember his name. But one of the things he used to do, he, he'd sit on a park bench. This is one joke that I heard him say, and it's real short. He's sitting himself. He's an older, gray-haired guy, kind of short, kind of lecherous looking. And he's sitting next to another old lady, and she's got a hairnet on, and she's got her purse. And he says, do you believe in the hereafter? And the proper older lady sitting next to him says, why, of course I do. Then you know what I'm here after. Morgan SLV out. <laughs>